Welcome to another modern gameplay. So today, we're bringing you Affinity. Yes, Affinity is back, baby. Well, honestly, this deck is not new. If you have followed me for quite some time, you've seen that I've actually played an, also a version of this deck, but that was a bit of more me a meme deck in a sense that we're playing Crater Hoof, Hoof main deck and we're relying mostly on um, the Affinity 7 drop, which is the Sojourner's, um, uh, so Sojourner's Companion, I think. If I'm if I'm pronouncing it, it correctly or not, please let me know. Um, but this time, we're actually playing something different in the form of Blood Fountain. Blood Fountain is basically one of those Innistrad, uh, Innistrad Crimson Vow new cards. It's common, and it has um, one, one black. Um, whenever Blood Fountain enters the battlefield, create a blood token. And pay four sacrifice blood fountain, return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. So it brings about a synergy with our thought monitor, precisely because it's a creature. So that means that you can actually bring your companion and your monitor if they die and recur it via blood fountain. That being said, if it's early game, you can actually cast blood fountain to accelerate your affinity in a form of frog might, then thought cast, then thought monitor into Sojourner's companion. That being said, the deck is pretty much your affinity shell in the form of uh, Ornithopter, Memnites for early drops into frog might, which will be the bridge to our haymakers, the companion and thought monitor, and then finally cranial plating and nettle cyst to finish off the game. An alternative win con is through the lands, especially we're playing with those pesky Counterspell decks, Urza Saga is your best friend right here, which can fetch your know, Aether Spell Bomb, Ginger Brute, so that it can actually <laughs> come across, cut across the bat battlefield and straight to your opponent's face. Welding Jar as a one off, in a sense, for that uh, like precise timing where you need to regenerate and you can fetch it through Urza Saga. The fun, the fun thing about this deck is that it's only 300 bucks in paper. And I believe in Paper Magic, it's and 250 ticks on MTG Online. That being said, let's go to the sideboard. You have three dispatch for those Amulet Titan decks or decks that has potential Katakis in their sideboard. You have your Metallic Rebukes to intercept key spells on the third or second turn. Hercules Recall against Hammer Time and Mirrors. Desert Agent of Bolas as a finisher, reach, and a alternative win condition in the form of a planeswalker. And Etch Champion as a gotcha moment. It's basically going to be protection from all colors at all times. A Soul Guide Lantern and Python Needle as another form of things that we can fetch via tool via toolbox on Urza Saga. Alright, that's it. Now on all right. I'm going to set Giganta as a companion. We lost the die roller against Millie Man. Millie, a Millie, a Millie, a Millie, a, 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 a Millie, a Millie, a Millie, a Millie, you dig. We're going to keep this. It's not an explosive turn. <clears throat> we do have, um, can we can we do better? So opponent doesn't have a, a companion. I think we can, I'm going to mulligan this. This, is a, this hand is a bit slow. This hand of, oh, Magnifico. I'm going to keep this. We're going to bottom the island definitely here. We can start with a Treasure Vault. No, I think we can start with Ornithopter, Glimmer Void, and then Blood Fountain. And then next turn, we can go with uh, Treasure Vault, I think. We're going to keep this. We're going to bottom island. The reason being is that if we get um like uh, Strip Mind or, or something like that, line, that line, so we still have like a thing to do. Um, Blood Fountain definitely in turn one is what we're going to do here. Hopefully that's enough. It's enough. I like this island, the island by John Avon. Um, I know, I know that we're reaching critical mass in a sense that, oh, oh wait, what? They passed the turn, Millman. I don't think that's the thing they want to do, Millman. We're going to go main. All right, that's a Giganta right there. So they passed. I just don't know why. I think it might be because... Or need top three cast F6. Okay. I think they, they placed it incorrectly. That's a map, treasure map. Draw a card. Oof, it's not going to look good for us. Oh, okay. So I do have, I do have a, like we can play a vault right here. And then from there, Fragmite, Fragmite. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is one is one to cast. From there, we can discard, discard, and draw a card. Yep. 
Then from there, this one, you can destroy the card, draw card, sacrifice this artifact. <laughs> okay. We need to draw cards. So that's the reason why. Next turn, we're going to shoot them down for, I think this is like 10 damage. And now they only have forest. Ooh, not a good look. Not a good look. So now I'm just going to sacrifice pay one right here. So discard a card. I'm going to get a draw card. Cycle the Glimmer Void out. Cranial Plating. Wow. Fantastic value. I'm going to start it with a Welding Jar right here. Let's see if they have any spell out there that can take us in. Here's my Cranial Plating. Here's me attacking. Here's 10 damage. Don't mind if I do. Yep. F6. I think it's going to be a very quick end right here for our opponent i just don't know all right this is definitely tron um we just don't know if they're playing karn so they're down to 12 oh i, I thought it was 10 and uh, never mind then if that's the case ancient stirring steer it up steer it up i need a land that can produce a green uh, i mean not a green mana like maybe so they're dead <laughs> nicely done nicely done a lot of blunders along the way. I think that was a misclick. Other than that, I think they played it correctly in a sense. So to me, if that's the case, is Ginger Brute, Brute would be good. All right. Things that I think may not be good would be the Aether Spell Bomb would not be good here. It's going to be tough because they are definitely Tron and Akarn basically wrecked us really, really good. So I'm going to put in a lot of metallic rebukes that we can rebuke him. A uh, Ginger Brute. So I don't want to, okay. maybe I can put in a Python Needle. Python Needle would be good. Deseret Bolas, Agent of Bolas. Might be I'm on the fence here with Agent. Okay, we have, we have this amount. I mean, we came here for Blood Fountain. Cranial Plating might not be the best way to go. Metal Cysts. I'm going to reduce one Metal Cyst. Also reduce one Cranial Plating. And then reduce one Ornith... Uh, or one or, or two Ornithopters. I'm just afraid that... Uh, actually, uh, one Mem Knight, one Topter. I hope this is correct. I'm just not sure if it is going to be. We do have a lot of card draws. Um, I'm banking on trying to gum up that way. Vomit the entire hand and then basically just hope for the best. We're going to uh, submit the deck right here. I'm not sure if Welding Jar, we need some Ginger Brute. Do we need Ginger Brute? Do I think I can win with Tezzeret? I think winning with Tezzeret might not be a very, very good idea because... That means that opponent already has the Tron lands and we're definitely, you know, the F word. <laughs> All right. Okay. So if I keep this, I don't have anything. We're going to mulligan. This is a, definitely a slow hand. This one is, is this better? Yikes. Nope. I'm going to mulligan this as well. That's kind of bad. All right. So I guess I'm going to keep it. I have no other choice. We're going to put two cards into a Z bottom. That would be the cyst and the plating. Yeah. Oh, would it be? Let it be the cyst and the welding jar. I think that would be better, right? This welding jar. Or I need the welding jar to cast Frogmite and then the top monitor. All right. Okay. I got I got no choice. All right. I got no choice. Eh. Eh. Show. Chromatic star. Let's start with something that they cannot. It's a bridge. Here's a welding jar. That's my turn. Here we go. Okay, next turn, it's a Frogmite into a eel. Okay, let's see. Let's see what they take. All right, I think they got the Tron right. All right, that's the Tron, definitely. We are not looking good, guys. Definitely not looking good. That's a Thought Cast. We're still going to play it out. We're still going to play it out. Don't worry. Thought Cast Ace. Eel Overseer. Cranial Plating. Frogmite. The turn. One, two, three, four, five. Land drop into. What do they have? Hope nothing good. Okay, Karn the Liberator. All right. They have no choice but to hit our frog might right here. I would assume. Ooh, okay. They exile that instead. Takes frog card. That's a metallurgic rebuke. Oh, really, really want to do something here. This is six to cast. This is five to cast. So that means I can cast it for two. I can attack Karn Liberated right here. Thought Monitor would be six to cast. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay. I have no choice. Let's do a Thought Cast right here. Yeah. Right here. Land drop right here. Attack your Karn. And here's my companion. 
then I'm going to give them the metallurgic rebuke. Hopefully they don't have a follow-up after this. Oh, we're in a bad spot. Exiles a card, no rebukes. That's a uh, map into a, I would assume probably a tower. Tower of power. Oh, forest, right, okay. Draw card. Let's rebuke. Let's start with the metallurgic summons. Blue cards. Oof. Yikes. Okay. Let's attack Karn first. What is this? What is this? Wilt. Nope. Destroy that maybe later. Then drop here. Cast this. Pass the turn. Oh, super tough. I just hope that they don't have anything else. Come on, baby. Don't have anything else. Uh, you got all the metallurgical rebuke that you want, baby. Okay, let's see what they have. This is Ugin. Oh, Sylvan's crying. A lot of crying. Into a Urza Saga. What is shoot. Oh, tower. Tower. Tower, sorry. Then that's... Oh, Oblivion Stone. Yikes. Okay, that's an O Stone. Destroy everything. Oof, baby. Tough. Tough beans. Alright, back to zero. Oof, that's a thought monitor though. Uh, one, two. Oh, two. Oof, baby. Spring leaf drum. Feel your heart beat to the beat of the drum. I hear your heart beat to the beat of the drum. Oh. No, please don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. I hope nothing. I hope you get nothing. Oh man, that sucks. That's a worm coil and Jane. Though, uh, my Orsa Saga is really huge. Okay. So they don't have anything. Hopefully that stays the same. Oof. Baby. Do I cast? Yeah, let's just cast it. It doesn't matter, I think. So, can I attack with my thought monitor? I should have attacked with my thought monitor. Oh, that was a mistake. Mistake. Okay, that's a land drop. Okay, put set stop on my draw step. And I'm just gonna take this. Stop. I should have attacked with my thought monitor. Should be down 24 right now, then 22. Oh, if, if I if I lost to like uh, engine, I would be totally super, super mad. Super angry. Okay. Okay. That's an 8 8. Draw card. Red fountain. 9-9. Nine, nine. Search. Okay. This is Shadow Sphere, I think. Or a Python Needle. Can I go Python Needle into Oblivion Stone? I think that would be good. Python Needle O Stone would be nice. Or I can just go Shadow Sphere and try to raise them. Yeah, I think I can do that. Nah, I think it's safer to go Python Needle Oblivion Stone. Oblivion Stone. No stone for you. Go to attacks. Attack you. It's your last card. That's 14. Ooh, should have casted a the blood fountain. I'm, I'm screwing up, guys. I'm screwing up. That was another mistake. So we are now... They should be down to 10 right now. Should be. Chromatic star. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that takes 6 damage again. Okay, no problem. Or is this going to be a ballista hit? If it's a ballista, then so be it. Is, it, is this Karn? 3, 4, 5. Drag dust. Ooh. Yuck. Yuck indeed. Ooh, baby. Okay. Give me a sec. It comes up with great X treasure tokens. It comes up four, I think. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Down to eleven. Bring a dude. Opponent should be down to six though. I made a couple of mistakes. Forgot about stuff. Hopefully good enough. The world though. I mean, if they have the walking ballista right now, they can just cast the walking ballista, I think. That's uh, 8, 10, 10, um, 14, 15. 15 divided by 2 is 8, yeah? Uh, or or 7. Ooh, okay. Zawardo. Going, I'm going to sacrifice this for X tokens. Wait. I'm two treasures. I'm gonna be super huge. Ooh, that's a thought monitor. Don't hurt him, James. Don't hurt him. Ooh, baby. Ooh, don't hurt them. Don't hurt them, James. We're going to sacrifice a this thing. 
need to cycle that. Ooh, it's a metallurgic rebuke. They're going to block both. Do I need to attack with everything? I don't think so. At least I do have a rebuke, right? Uh, I don't even need to attack all, right? They become a two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then from there, I can return a Ornithopter. What does this do? Sacrifice Blood Fountain. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, can do that. We can return a Frogmite in Thought Monitor. Ooh, baby. Don't hurt them. So, Sacrifice Blood Fountain. Return a Thought Monitor and this one. So now I just need to go um, tap for black. U, two, three, and four. Oh, Blood Fountain is really good, man. Casts. Cast. Oh, baby. Oh. You don't have anything to board wipe me with. I'm just gonna swarm. You're dead, son. This is huge. Oof. 15 damage. Go to main. Here's me attacking with everything. Except you. Think that's it? Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yes. Woo. This deck is Giganta. Wellspring. Let's go. Oof. Okay. Blood Fountain. Shadow Sphere. Opponent goes first. They don't have a, anything as well. I I mean, they don't have a companion. We do have a Mana Vault on top. Hot. I think it's too slow. We're gonna mulligan this hand because we have a Shadow Sphere. I think this is better. We have a turn one, one, a two, three drop. I'm gonna keep it. I think we, we can't go any any better than this. I just hope that um, we do top deck something good. Ooh, an Arbor Elf. Not looking good for us. Oh, that's a treasure, eh? So, go to main. Here's my Mem Knight. Mem Knight. Treasure Vault. Go. Let's see. I think this is Bonza, I would assume. Try to destroy our land. Hopefully we get the indestructible land. And then from there, I think they're gonna go Blood Moon to win. Red, green, red. Yeah, sure. Stone Rain. Oh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon is not that bad. I'm gonna attack all. So I know if I drop a Saga, it becomes a Mountain, but I just don't know if it will survive. I don't have an answer to Blood Moon, so might as well try it. It goes to the graveyard, okay. 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 Four to cast, stomp, show, and tap, and... Ooh, double stomp. Yikes. Not a good thing for us. We're going to attack here with Memnite. Down to four. Blood Moon deck. Yikes. Go to red. Blood Moon. Or to cast. This is Moon Veil or Regent. Oh, okay. I see what type of deck it is. This is an Ornithopter, but I think it's too late. Let's let's pack it up. Concede the game. I think they got us here. Begin sideboarding. In terms of their deck, right? I think Edge Champion would be best. Just not sure about how we're gonna fix the enchantment situation. I don't think we have anything for that, at the very least. Um, I, I want to have a better mana curve, I think, on the opening hand. I think that's where we want to be. Blood Fountain, I think it's... I'm on, on the fence on the Blood Fountain uh, criteria situation, I would I would assume. Uh, okay, Nettle Cyst, I think, is my slot for Edge Champion, as long as I have enough artifact. I should be good. Metallurgic Rebuke, Rebuke might be where I want to be as well, question mark. Um, Dispatch is something, I, is a consideration, given that our opponent has... Um, do we want some early interactions in your bread brutes? Not so great, I would confess. Yeah, I think I like the rebukes here. It's just not good to... Yeah, I think I'm going to put in the, all four ofs of the rebuke. Just gonna shave a the one drops, a zero drops. I'm gonna start the deck. Yep, I like this. I'm gonna play first, yes. Giganta in. We do have the island as well. Spring leaf drum into thought monitor. I think that's gonna cool. We're gonna keep here. I'm gonna start it with a saga. I would assume. Start saga. Spring leaf drum. No, I don't want to expose my island as of yet. Topia sprawl. Okay. Red. Ooh, okay. That's a mire. Three, four. Okay. Okay. Oof. 
that's two. Wait, let, let me think about this. So this is, that's two, right? This is three. And can I cast this? Or two. Can't even do it, man. Ooh, tough, 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 tough. I just hope that they don't have the blood moon right here. Oof, I think they do. <laughs> Yikes, they're going to fetch for a... Uh, I think I'm assuming green. Yeah, this is blood moon. Yeah. That's the moon right there. Another spring leaf drum. This Is this a indestructible? Or no more, no more, right? Spring leaf drum. Okay. I want to be able to cast a frogmite. Okay. Brennan 6, bring back a wooden stuff. Okay. Respect a blood fountain. All right. Can't even cast it. Yikes. Or can I? So I can drop this for two. Cast the frog might. Ooh, that's nice. And then cast something for black blood fountain, I would assume. Sure. Two for one. And this is a uh how much is this to cost now? Two to cast? Yikes. Ooh. That's seven. Two to cast, right? I need to draw something good. Yep. This is now how much? One to cast, right? Oh, you like that. You like that big daddy? Hey, nicely done. From there, we're going to beat them up in the sky. So one, two, three. That's six to cast. So I can't cast the companion as of yet. Ah, show, 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 show. Yuri. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Okay, that's a spring leaf drum. Let's go to main land drop. This is a spring leaf drum. Here's a thought monitor. Or I can cast can I cast this for free? Yep, it's casted for free. And cast that thought monitor right here. Okay. Oof, that's a metallurgical rebuke. I love it! I love this deck. So from there, yeah, let's cast a blood blood fountain. Go. Go. Let's be done. Lightning bolt, which one? Me? Or? Sure. Utopia sprawl. Okay. okay. How about no? How about no? No. Said no. Okay. You wanna attack? You wanna trade up? Nope. No, he doesn't. Oof, baby. So from there, I think go to main. From there, I can sacrifice this. Target frog my thought monitor. Let's uh do we're going to be black. You one, two, three. Bring those back. Ask you again. You need to blue you again right there. Draw two cards. Holding jar. Then um another I would probably just say blood fountain again. Black you. Yeah. That's the turn. You did, son. Blood fountain! Yes, son! Yeah! I'm gonna take that. No problem. Go, go to main. Okay. Go to main. I'm going to land drop. Here's my shadow sphere. Here's me attaching the shadow sphere to this dude. Here's me attaching the cranial plating to here. Here's me attacking your thing. Goodbye, Renan6. You are a 19.5. You're... You're still dead. Ooh. Ooh! Baby! Take. No problem. Blood moon your face. What up? What up? What up? What up, yo? <laughs> Blood moon your face! Mmm! Squished. Ah, I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what they put in. Buy follower primes and viewers. Nope. We are not buying. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want to put anything else? I think I'm good with it. It is what it is, son. Giganta Well Springs. Ooh, baby. Gonna keep going to be a keep. Keeper keeper. We're going to start with a spring leaf drum. Saga spring leaf drum. Ooh. Or vault into spring leaf drum. Sure. Herbor elf. Grimmer Void, eh? Put the main. Can start with Treasure Vault, Spring Leaf Drum. And can I go Ornithopter? I don't think we need that as of now. It could probably just go destroy artifact and stuff. And that's fine. Not really fine, but you know what I mean. 
Prepare then catacombs. Arbor Elf. Oh, that's a lot of Arbor Elf. Gonna take one damage. Okay, cool. So that means that they don't have mostly the things that they need. Oh, okay. Go to main. This is Treasure Vault into Omnitopter into Edge Champion. F6, go. Protection from all colors. Bolt the lightning. Yeah. The topter. Bolt the topter? What do you mean? Okay. Cool. Double red. Triple red. Okay. Sure. Buy protection from all colors. So nice. <laughs> Good looking out though. I'm gonna go to main. Go to main. Alright, the question becomes, how many do I have? I have one, two, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It's short. I just uh, can I just do damage here? Or can I just go? I mean I can just go attack, right? I can just do that. Glimmer void for so glimmer void. Here's my green hill plating. Which is this? Yeah, I mean. Draw two. Ooh, citadel. A lot of citadels. Okay, I'm just gonna take that damage. That's six. That's fine. Okay. Lightning bolt. Can just go black. Tap this. Black now. Dead. Draw a card. Thought cast. Go to main. Land drop right here. Here's my thought. Draw two. Ooh. Not exactly what we wanted to see, but okay. Down to ten. They have to kill us now or they dead. What's your top deck? Take down to take eight down to five. What's your top deck? Okay. Go to main. Let's do another thought cast probably. Ooh, that's a lot of lands. Ooh, that's a lot of lands. Can I attack? Uh yeah, I think we can do this. Land drop citadel. Land drop uh cast ornithopter. And then from there you can attack. And from there, I can create sacrifice ah, x amount of treasures. Depending if if what they drew is lightning bolt. If it's lightning bolt, then so be it. If it's land, then they're dead. Create two. You're down to ten. This is ten damage. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Finally, we won the die roll against Denmark Dan. I'm gonna say yes. Here's our our companion. Well, let's see what our opponent is playing. Okay, looks like we have a turn one, one, two, three, four. We're gonna keep this. Wait, opponent doesn't have anything. I would assume. Keep. Okay, opponent is just call this. Uh, I think it's blue white control, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. So our chance here is to blitz our opponent. Spring leaf drum, building jar, and of six go. Okay, let's see where our opponent is. Probably blue. Yes, it is blue. And. This is a prismatic ending. Wow. Okay, let's go to main. Hmm. <laughs> Land drop. Here's my spring leaf drum. Cast this. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we draw some card draws sometime soon. Okay. Want to cast Nettle Cyst next turn. Oof, that's kinda cool. Go to main. I don't think I want to risk it with an untapped hold, hallowed fountain. Hmm. Let's land drop here. Here's my nettle cysts or cranial plating. Let's go with cranial plating. Nah, let's go with nettle cyst. Next turn is going to be a teferi. Okay, right, here we go. F6. <clears throat> seven, seven, baby. We're gonna celebrate. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Teferi dancing. One more time, one more time, celebration. Okay, so they're going to try and get this. All right, okay. Let's uh, cranial plating. Go to main. Here's my cranial plating. Counter or draw two cards. Okay, it becomes a zero zero on their end. It doesn't work that way. Put here. Back. You don't have a creature. Let's see how it goes. Okay, kind of nice. Down to eight. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Oof, that's a thought monitor. Let's start with the thought monitor. Or let's start with this. We'll pay two. Don't have a blocker anymore. Here's me attacking with my frogmite. Remember Durdurge? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Durdurge! You dead! That fuck you dead! 
Let's go to sideboarding. I love it. We are on a roll, guys. We're on a roll. So, we'll probably go with the Metallurgic uh, Rebuke. That's the only thing that we have. I don't think we'll be able to go Agent of Balas here. It's too much, and I think it's going to be a too much thing to, to, um, to run against with. Or at the very least, uh, let me think about it. If they do hurt Ghost Recall, it's kind of also a thing that they can do. I like Edge Champions. Maybe this is the time where I put it in. Maybe. Maybe not. Question mark? Question mark? Okay, let's look at things that are great. Oh, Spell Bomb is not that great against their deck because they don't have any creatures. We are going to shave a little bit of cranial plating here. As always, I always shave one plating and I shave a... Let's shave. I like the combo of Thought Monitor and Blood Fountain. It's really good. My chef's kiss, if I were to say so myself. Um, what else? Uh, the Omnitopters, kind of quite bad. Let's remove two because I don't think they have any blockers for these. Now we're only looking for three manas. I like Springleaf Drum. Very much important with this type of deck. Shadow Sphere might not be the case where we want to be. But in case we want to have like... Wait, not really where we want to be. We have Edge Champion as protection from all colors. But they're going to go Wrath of God anyway. So not, not, not ideal. I would assume. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. Maybe the Companion might not be great here. One more. Uh, okay. Maybe too many blood fountains i would say submit music and dance so free i think they did it incorrectly a while ago they should have take control at the beginning of my combat i would assume we're gonna keep this this is a turn one um frogmite probably bridge memnite memnite yeah welding jar yeah let me go to main let's start with welding jar okay they just have six Okay, all of the storm giants. That's a blood fountain right there. I'm gonna go to main. Here's me doing the thing, going to attacks. Okay, I think that's mostly what I can do. Don't think I can do anything more. Don't have enough colored mana, I would, as one would say. Nope. Music is dance so free. Celebration. Celebration, celebration, music on dance so free. Celebration, music on a dance so free. Music body feeling so free. One more time. Time. Okay. They are down to this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down to one. Okay. One more time. Celebration. No more fetch land for you. No more fetch land for you. Celebration. No more fetch land for you. Celebration. Celebration. One more time. <laughs> All right. Uh, we lost the dial. We're gonna. We're going against Chaja Giganta. Here we go. Yeah. Giganta on the beat. Hope. We're going to keep this primarily because I do have an Ornithopter into a Blood Fountain. So Blood Fountain had says that we do have like at least six, six mana. Oh no, no. This is one, two, one, two, three. Opponent is a Luru's deck. Finally a Luru's deck. Oh, it's going to be burned. Is that type of deck, deck A? Eh? Okay, sure. I'm going to take six, uh, two damage here, uh, one damage here. Okay. There's no point exposing the Ornithopter here. I would... Ooh, okay. Wait, maybe there is a point. Let's go to main. Let's count the, the cards. That would be one, two, three, four, five. Not enough. So I'll probably go with um, Glimmer Void for now, then cast Blood Fountain. The Blood Fountain. Okay. Affinity, baby. Affinity, baby, baby. 
Hopefully that's not a, you know, to, to cast... Uh... Oh, okay, that's a lava spike. We're going to take that, it's fine. We do have a lot of, like, ways to go about. 6, 12, alright, down to 10. Their only choice is that to try to blitz us, okay? Let's go to main. So this definitely is. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I have no choice but to drop the, 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 the uh, what you call this? The dark steel. Cast. 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 Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Hero reporting. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sixteen. Bring back the thing. Do you want to attack? Nope. I thought so. Ooh, that's a thought cast right there. Let's start with the thought cast. Thought cast, baby. Ooh, ooh. Not a good look. Not a good look. Thought casts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's attack with our brute attacking you. I take that damage. You're down to twelve. Cast. Cast. Okay, there you go. <laughs> baby, baby. Ooh, baby. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. I'm going to discard the Dark Steel Citadel here. It's a lot of lands. Okay, sure. I'd like to inform my decision by discarding a land. Ooh, baby. Okay. The Memnite. Go to main. Let's start inform our decision with Thoughtcast. Ooh, Springleaf Drum. Okay. Okay. That's the thing. Let's go to attacks. Attack all except these. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. A little bit. You're gonna die a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. I don't want to like... Maybe we can... Yeah, maybe we can. Blue. Back to blue. Okay. You're down to 4. Down to 10. So unless that's like all lightning bolts. I'm gonna block. Let's go block. I'm sorry. You're the thing that's uh, not so great. Down to seven. Okay. Flip sphere. Okay, it's a land. You need to kill one of these though. Oof. Go to main. It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> it's attack. Yeah, including you. <laughs> Creature hit in a form of like uh Man, this is where Edge Champion would really shine. I would sh assume uh, they would have like a lot of like grudge, ancient grudge, or a lot of that like e exile creature artifacts. And I think this is where Dispatch would come in because I, I think they can sideboard the Kitaki uh, right out of the bat. Um, Ether Spell Bomb is very useful against their deck. Welding, Welding Jora, I like it. Ginger Brute also has some sort of utility, I would, I would confess. Memnite definitely not something that would matter here, and I think I would also shave a. We already shaved a, pre, a, cre, a cranial plating. Uh, everything else I like. Um, maybe I'll shave off a blood fountain. That's it. Hopefully that's Giganta the Wellspring right here. Say okay, okay. That's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna keep it. Question becomes, do I have enough? So I can drop one, a two, three, a four, five. Okay, we're gonna keep. I'm not sure. I just I just hope that we we have enough land capacity to to go about here. I'm just not sure if like turn two Kataki would wreck us, definitely. Um I'm, but it is what it is, guys. Sometimes that's how the magic gods will it. Okay, goblin guide, give me land, please. Oh, thank you, goblin guide. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's two frog mites right now. I can go land drop, spring leaf, drum, or okay. I think we can vomit the entire hand. So let's do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, cool. We vomit the entire hand. Vomit is good. Hopefully, it's not that good that we lose some sort of like equity. Okay, Blood Fountain, pass the turn. Hopefully no Kitaki. Rift Bolt suspended, not that great. I'm gonna draw a card here. Oh, that's Urza. Go to main. Here's my Urza. Here's my Urza. Okay, here's my plating. Here's me attaching my plating. They need to destroy at least the Ornithopter. Okay. 
Okay, at the very least, you can attack for a lot of damage. Okay, 13, pass the turn. Are you gonna go through for the face or the creature? That's the question. Going to be tough for them either way. Oh, they went for the face. Did they have Kitaki? Nope, you were. One card in hand. They're gonna attack. Ooh, that's done to 10. Ooh, but it's an Aether Spell Bomb. I love it. We're gonna go to main. Main. Okay. Here's my land or the vault. Aether Spell Bomb. Okay, just to ensure against Kitaki, because I think we will win here. Uh, I think two of them would be fine. Yep, take that damage down to nine. Just trying to be safe here. So they can go Kitaki, and I can bounce it with either Spell Bomb. I'm gonna take this damage. Okay, here's me going for it. Tap, upkeep. We're gonna go for another it. Go to main, say okay. Or let's search for a we go with ginger brute or shadow sphere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and a hard. Maybe I can just go ring leaf drum just to make sure that we get an activation out of ether spell bomb. Nah, I think we can go. Nah, okay. Spring leaf drum would be the, the best way to go here. Then we can go land drop again right here. Then I can just attach equipped right here. Then we can attack with everything except for two creatures so that I can protect my, my stuff. Okay, you did. Ooh, deflecting palm. Who? Target would be me. Target of my choice deals combat damage. Ooh, I should have uh should have uh released this. Okay, then that might be an issue. Hmm. Okay, to you this turn. Okay. Uh for blue. Okay. Okay, then from there we can just then try to equip. Okay, here we go. Yep, we still win. <laughs> you tried to deflect ping pong us. <laughs> not gonna work, baby. Not this time. <laughs> now that was fun. <laughs> well, what did overperform for the deck? I believe the overperformer here is definitely the blood fountain here. It is an unex unexpected upgrade to the deck, precisely because uh, it has functionality and um, utility in all phases of the game be it early game mid game and late game it can recur our creatures thought monitor and the companion right here and definitely an all-star favorite right here what did underperform from my perspective well to be honest ginger brute did not show too much preference in this type of matchup or like the meta in itself i can't see it performing anytime soon precisely because it's a one one at the very least and for the decks where it is actually quote and quote effective there are a lot of answers for it so to be honest i would forego this one the other thing is that maybe nettle cyst is two nettle cyst might not be the the perfect number right here we may need to think about how we want to put in our land especially because we have white here on the sideboard the other thing is on the sideboard desert agent of Ballas. i'm not too impressed with this card um, through the matchup, it did not show too much promise. I think the slot could be uh, done better. The Python Needle and Soul Guide Lantern probably could be main deck in for, uh, in place of the Ginger Brute. Python Needle definitely because we the, the meta is populated with either activated abilities in both creatures and planeswalkers. I would add a bit more Edge Champion if you would add me or ask me this. I do have like a sort of bias with Edge Champion to probably re replace the Deserts with Edge Champion. I think that's mostly it. Um, Giganta, well, there's nothing else you can do with, with the deck, right? That's our companion. At the very least, that's also something that we can cast provided that we fix our man. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. I also have a Patreon if you want to support your boy. I put in my thoughts on the deck more in-depth in terms of like the sideboarding plan what's the progress of the deck right now how many versions or iterations that i went through 
what are the suggestions that you would like to make special videos as well that I don't put into YouTube because it's a bit longer and um, I need to put it on a paywall per se. <laughs> also, if you want to catch me live, I am live on Twitch. Consider going in there. Also, check out my Discord. So that's it. If you enjoyed my videos, check out more videos here and here. And as always, stay safe, y'all. Ha, ha, ha.